It's a fucking shit show. What you think you see, what you think you hear, that's what it's about. Mood and atmosphere. No, it's fucking garbage. It's garbage. Mood and atmosphere. Now that I really like. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want to see. Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. Okay, in this video, I want to talk about something that I talked about already in a video six, seven months ago, maybe? Maybe it wasn't that long ago. I can't remember. Um, whenever it was first announced that the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences was thinking about introducing a popular film category to the Academy Awards. That's right, just a popular film. Not necessarily deserving of what the Academy Award is supposed to be about. Just, the, oh, you, you were popular, so we're going to give you an award for it. You know, it's like giving an award to the most popular kid in school. <laughs> when you look at it like that, it's like, it's kind of tacky. Um, but they didn't quite quantify what that meant. They said that, that they were going to figure out what that means. Like, wh what does it mean to be popular, right? Are they going to base it on box office? Are they going to base it on a Rotten Tomatoes score? Are they going to base it on uh, a cinema score? Are they going to base it on just how it affects the pop culture consciousness? Because there's a lot of movies that don't make a lot of money at the box office, but do get into the pop culture, or, you know, whatever the case is, right? They didn't elaborate on, well, what, what defines popular? Instinctually, I think most of us kind of go, oh, well, it's got to be box office. I mean, you know, it makes a lot of money at the box office, so it's got to, you know what I mean? Like, that's, I think, was most people's default. And then there's a whole lot of shit around that, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second. But they didn't quite define what that meant. So they left some wiggle room open for them. Uh, and then, of course, there was so much backlash from uh, people in the industry uh, working in Hollywood and other movie pundits online. And, and for me as well, I, I didn't agree with that. And I went into great detail as to why in the video that I posted a few months back. But it looks like uh, they're still open to the idea. According to an article on ScreenRant.com, it looks like, yeah, they're still open to the idea. So here's what the article has to say. The planned popular film Oscar is still in consideration as the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is hoping that its introduction will boost viewership ratings of the broadcast ceremony. Initially, part of the changes that the organization was planning to execute, the Outstanding Achievement in Popular Film accolade, was supposed to give blockbusters a chance to nab a non-technical award. The planned move was quickly met with criticisms from people in the industry, causing the organization to backpedal on it, but not fully tossing out the idea. Instead, the Academy said that it will seek additional input regarding this category. Now, new information comes to light with regard to the popular film Oscar, as the Academy admits that its introducing the category was part of their effort to entice people to tune into the televised ceremony. No fucking shit! I mean, come on here. The Academy Awards... The Academy Awards ratings have been dropping significantly year after year after year. And I think last year, I stand to be corrected, but I think last year was the worst um, ratings they've had in years. Like it just continues to drop. And there's reasons for that. There's many reasons for that, not just one. A lot of people in my last video were like, yeah, well, it's all because, you know, you know, people use the platform to push their political views. And it's like, well, I mean, there's no doubt because of the way things have been going on, especially in the United States, um, that yes, there are some people that use that as the platform, but it had been dropping long before Trump was ever in office, long before the Me Too movement, long before, like, I mean, it, it's been dropping for years. So um, that's not, th that. I'm not saying that's not having an effect. People, you know, roll their eyes when celebrities get on stage and start rah rah I'm not saying that that does not have an effect. I'm just saying that there's many variables at play, okay? Just keep that in mind. Variety reports that during the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences event held at the Energa Camera Image Film Festival in... I'm not even going to pretend I know how to pronounce that, so sorry to all the fine Polish people that may be watching, but I think it's best I just move on for, for sake of time. Let's just say a film festival in Poland. Uh, the organization addressed some of the pressing matters concerning the industry, including the controversial Popular Film Award. President John Bailey revealed that the highly divisive category could still happen in an effort to boost ratings for the televised ceremony, which have been continuously dipping the 
the last few years. Citing 1929's affair, which is hilarious that he's got to go back that far because 1929 was the very first Academy Awards. I think John may want to reconsider what year he goes back to when he's trying to make his point, but anyway. Citing 1929's affair, where the Academy gave out two Best Picture accolades for the box office hit Wings and the critically praised Sunrise. The executive said that having the popular award seemed like a good idea. However, due to the backlash they got, the board reconsidered and tabled it. Which is not to say that the idea is dead. Even after a stake was driven through its heart, there's still interest. Steak was driven through its heart. Okay, listen, John, um, you might want to reconsider the example you use moving forward when you try to connect the dots for people who you're trying to get on your side. Uh, this is not 1929 anymore. That's like, you know, what is that? Like 15 years before my parents were born, for Christ's sakes. Um, and they're dead now. Uh, <sighs> what do I think about this? Well, I still, I still feel the same way that I felt in the video that I uploaded a few months ago. And the article goes on here on ScreenRant.com, which they basically say that, yeah, well, now they're not even hiding the fact that, yes, this is, this was a, this is solely about ratings because our ratings suck and we want to get our ratings up. So that's why we're doing this. We knew that a few months ago. They didn't say it back then, but we knew it. And now they've just come out and basically said it. So I still feel the same way. I think this is a load of fucking garbage. I do, but I'm not naive to the fact of, of why they're doing this. I understand why they're doing this. I understand how the Academy works, you know? And even though at the beginning of this video, I said, yes, there's literal politics that have been involved, which may be turning some people off. People get on stage and they rip into Donald Trump or they're talking about climate change or, you know, whatever it is, but that's not, it's, it's really really prominent now because of the way things are, but people have been doing that at the, people have used the Academy Awards for that kind of thing for decades. Okay. Going back to the Vietnam War, going back to, you know, whatever it is, Pe people have used that platform, uh, before, but of course it's just really, uh, you know, people are hyper vigilant to it right now because of everything that's going on. You know, we seem to be like rolling on all cylinders right now when it comes to that kind of shit. So it seems really extreme. And also because of social media, we're seeing it everywhere now. We can't just turn off our TVs. It's on our Facebook. It's on our Twitter. It's on our Instagram. It's on YouTube. It's, it's, it's everywhere. So it's, it's really, we're really inundated with it now. Now, the other side of politics, of course, is the, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine which the Academy Awards is not immune to, okay? Any award show at that level working, you know, at the Hollywood level is not immune to that. Um, listen, the Academy Awards is made up of about 7,000 members or so. People that are, are part of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and who are eligible to actually vote uh, on the movies and the people uh, that are being nominated and eventually the winners. Um, and this is statistically true, okay? Up until just the last few years, by and large, uh, the Academy was made up of predominantly white men over the age of 60. That is statistically true. That's not my opinion. Over the last couple of years, they've tried to change that a bit and bring some more diversity into the Academy. Um, okay. When you look at it at face value, take the politics out of it. Okay. And just look at it at face value. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm fine with that. The other side of the coin, however, is something that I'm not okay with is that I'm, I'm fine for bringing some more diversity and okay, but nobody, and I would like to think, I would like to think that even if you're a black actor or an Asian actor or a, a Hispanic actor or a Muslim actor or whatever the case is, I would like to think that you don't want to be nominated or recognized to fill a quota. You don't want to be given a pity award because you happen to be black. Well, we've had some white people that were nominated the last couple of years. So, you know, even though you don't deserve this award, we don't have too many of you being nominated. So we're going to nominate you anyway, just to get you in there. I can't speak for people who are black and Asian, and I, I don't want to do that. But I would like to think that these people are working their, their asses off to be recognized for the talent that they bring to the table. They want to be recognized because of merit. They want to be given the Academy Award or given the nomination because they were deserving of the nomination based on what they brought to the table, their talents, their abilities. That's what they want. I, it would be awful to think that they would be okay with, well, I know I didn't really do a great job, but they need to fill a quota. So yeah, I'll take it. Oh man, that pains me. That pains me. 
That pains me. Nobody wants that. There are a lot of black actors and Asian actors and Hispanic actors and whatever the case is, working their fucking asses off to achieve the level of successes that the, that they are achieving, and they should be recognized for that, not to fill a quota. That's the, that's the thing, that's the only thing that I worry about, about bringing more um, diversity into the voting uh, into the academy and people eligible to vote, I'm like, okay, I know, I know it's tempting to vote for this person, but we got to keep the integrity. Look, look, the integrity of the academy was probably thrown out years ago, but this is the artist in me talking. Okay. Um, which brings me to, th that's the only thing that I'm worried about with that. Like I'm all for recognizing because there are a lot of talented, um, uh, black actors and Asian actors out there that should be recognized, but we got it. We got to do it right, man. We got to do it right. Don't give any, don't, don't, don't do it just to fill a quota. And I would like to think that even they would be like, nah, dude, don't get what, what? So you're just giving it to me because you feel sorry for me, essentially. No, give it to me because I fucking rocked that role. Give it to me because I fucking directed the shit out of that movie. That's why you give it to me. And that's why they would want it. I would like to think anyway. So let's move obviously over to the popular film category that they want to bring in. Well, that's going to water down. I mean, now you're really watering down everything. Look, according to uh, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Wikipedia page, and I understand it's Wikipedia, but this is what it says on their Wikipedia page. It says, the Academy Awards, also known as the Oscars, are a set of 24 awards for artistic and technical merit in the film industry, given annually by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences to recognize excellence in cinematic achievements as assessed by the Academy voting membership. The various category winners are awarded a copy of a golden statuette officially called the Academy Award of Merit, although more commonly referred to by its nickname, Oscar. If you want to bring in a popular category, you're completely going against what the Academy Awards is supposed to be about. Nobody wants to be given an award because they're, well, I mean, there are probably some narcissistic people that do, but those who work their asses off to achieve the level of, of success that they have achieved want the Oscar given to them because they deserve it because of what the, because of artistic merit. Okay. Listen. And as we know, we don't quite know what the quantifying measuring stick is going to be when we're talking about popular film. But like I said earlier, the default is probably, well, something that some movie that does really well at the box office. But as I've said ad nauseum on this channel, just because a movie makes a lot of money doesn't mean it was a good movie. It just means a lot of people went to see it. The question is not how many people went to see it. Well, it is for the studios, obviously, because this is about money and this is a business. But at the end of the day, the real question is how many of those people that went to see it liked it because you can't get your money back if you don't like the movie, right? All of us out there that did not like The Last Jedi, if we go to Box Office Mojo and we look at the total box office receipts for The Last Jedi, our hard-earned money is in that total and we didn't like it, nor should we be able to get our money back. I'm not suggesting that we should be able to get our money back. It's not, you know, we're not guaranteed we're going to like this. It's like going to, you know, to see your favorite hockey team play or football team play. I mean, if they lose miserably, you can't go back to the team box office and get your money back. I'm not suggesting that they should change that. I'm just saying that they're not mutually exclusive to each other. If a movie makes a lot of money at the box office, it can mean it's a really good movie, but not necessarily. There are boatloads of examples of big, you know, bonafide blockbuster movies that make shitloads of money that are shitty fucking movies. So we have to be careful of how we're going to quantify what, you know, is a popular movie because this year, right? Black Panther is the highest grossing movie of the year. Okay. Well, it just so happens that this year, Black Panther was critically well received and the fans really liked it as well. Okay, right, you're in the clear. If you were to give an Oscar for to Black Panther this year based on its box office results because it was so popular, it would really it would be cheap. And if I was the producer of Black Panther, I'd be like, fuck off with that shit, but that's me. But there would be this illusion there that, well, it was popular, it was really well liked, and you know, you might be able to kind of slip it in there and some people might not think twice about it. But what happens next year? If a movie comes out that is fucking garbage, but happens to make shitloads of money at the box office, and your measuring stick for what's popular is box office results. Well, 
Based on that, you would have to give the most popular Oscar to that movie. And now you're gonna like like a and now you're gonna look like a real dick giving an Oscar to a movie that nobody likes. You know, it just so happens this year everybody liked Black Panther. But most people, okay? But if you give it to a but but based on that alone, you'd be giving it to I mean, eventually one of these years, the most popular film is gonna be a movie everybody hates. That's why it's so popular. So you got to think about those things. What's the measuring stick of what's popular? You know, just because a movie makes a lot of money doesn't mean it was a good movie. It can, but like I said, they're not mutually exclusive to each other. So I just get the fuck out of there. Like who wants to be given an award because they're popular? You know, it's like saying, oh, hi, producer of Black Panther. Here's your award because you made a lot of money. But really what we're doing is we're trying to get the ratings up on this show. Hi, everybody at home watching, huh, suckers. Yeah, we're going to give this award to Black Panther because, you know, it made a lot of money. But really, we just want to get the ratings up. We're using you. We're using you, producer, to help get our ratings up. Here you go. What the fuck is this? I don't want that. Well, because I'm popular, so you're giving it to me? I don't want that. And in a lot of cases, what makes a lot of money and what becomes popular is out of the producer and filmmaker's hands. They can do the best to make the best movie they can, but what becomes popular is out of their control. That's why it's supposed to be about merit and artistic integrity and all that kind of shit, because what becomes popular is out of their control. You can set out to make a big popular film, but you have no control over that. You have no control of how your movie at the end of the day is going to affect the pop culture consciousness because there are a lot of movies that people make that go, fuck, I thought for sure that that was gonna take and it doesn't. And then there's some movies that are like, wow, I never expected that to take and it did. So it's, so you're awarding it, you're awarding them a popular Oscar for something at the end of the day they really had no control over, right? Do you know what I mean? So it just, it feels so cheap and you're cheapening it and it's unnecessary and it's stupid. And here's the thing. Let's say that they do in fact instill this popular Oscar category. And uh, maybe not for next year, but let's say for 2020. So that means all the films in 2019 are, you know, going to be uh, eligible for a popular film category in 2020. Well, you and I both know that Arguably, the two most popular films next year will probably be Avengers 4 and Star Wars Episode 9. We know that without even having seen the movie. We know that those two movies are probably going to destroy the box office. Those will be neck and neck next year. So those two movies are going to be neck and neck when awarding a popular Oscar. So like J.J. Abrams right now knows that he could, he could probably get an Oscar in 2020. He's going to get an Oscar or the producers. Kathleen Kennedy knows, you know what? I'm going to get an Oscar in 2020. I'm going to get it. It's a popular Oscar, but I'm going to get one. We already know that because we know that that movie is probably going to be hugely popular. So that's why I say that, you know, what, what's your quantifying factor here? Hey, listen, if you want to get an Oscar, albeit a, a, a popular Oscar, but if you want a gold statuette, a real Oscar, just like everybody else has, all those people that actually deserve the Oscars, the same one, the same look, the same weight, the same statuette, if you want one on your, you know, mantle, well then just go make a Star Wars movie. You know, it's like a fun, like it just seems so cheap. If you want to improve your ratings, think of other ways to do it, which there are a couple of other things they were thinking about, like, oh, I don't know, shortening the award show. It's ironic that the Oscars, which is the quintessential sort of award show for everything movies, is like a drawn out f fucking boring movie itself. Like you'd think that you'd want to sort of, you know, shape the Oscars in and around something that was like this tight, well-paced movie, right? If the Academy Awards were a movie, it would be a three hour fucking snore fest with far too many characters, far too many subplots and too much shit going on. Somebody needs to rewrite that shit and go in there and go take these fucking characters out there. Take that subplot out there. We can tighten this up and make the Academy Awards like a 90 minute, 120 minute show. Make it like a two hour movie. You know, now I know they've taken some steps to kind of do that with removing a lot of the uh, awards that the general movie going audience really has no interest in like best documentary feature, best foreign language film. A lot of the general movie going audience doesn't really care about that. That's not to take away the importance of them for the people who were nominated, but I totally understand that you can speed up, you know, the award show if you were to uh, award those uh, awards during the commercial breaks and then just do a quick acknowledgement to them maybe when you come back or something to that effect, which is what they've talked about doing. I think actually they are going to implement that this year, I think. Um, and I understand that. 
I get that. The Academy also has to remember that the landscape of how we, you know, receive our information has changed. It's not 1929, John. It's not 1957 or 1982 or 1991. You know, the in, w because of social media, people don't have to watch the Academy Awards anymore, right? You know, they, they you know, um, they can get the results like that on Twitter, on Facebook, and, you know, look at it on YouTube the next day or some Sometimes even that night because people are uploading clips and shit. Nobody needs to watch the Academy Awards anymore. And if you certainly are not interested in watching, you know, interested in watching the Academy Awards, you're not going to. So it's not just about giving a popular award category. You've got other fucking issues and other things you are working against. And that is primarily nobody's watching television in 2018. I mean, I am. That's because I'm 40. <laughs> Okay, but the vast majority of the young demographic, they're not watching TV anymore. They don't care about TV. Cable's going out the window, man. You know, there's other reasons why your ratings are down. Don't cheapen it by saying, well, you know, it's popular, so we got to... If it's that good, right, if if the fans loved it and the critics loved it, if then throw it in the best picture category. Put, I mean, you got 10 fucking best picture, you know, categories now that, that you could throw it in. Throw it in there. Don't, don't water it down and go, well, we feel sorry for you, so here you go. I take that, fuck, fuck off with that shit. I want to be nominated because I deserved it, not because you feel sorry for me. You know, or because my movie happened to be popular, which I have no control over at the end of the day. Right? So, but, but we're going to give it to you. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, uh, what the hell is the speech going to be? Uh, I just want to thank everybody at the studio and I want to thank the fans for coming out and making me rich and uh, spending money and making my film popular. Um, thank you. This is a popular award. I, I'm, I'm popular. My, my film is popular and this feels great. But keep in mind, if that's the quantifying factor, expect that maybe in a couple of years it'll be given to somebody who, who did a shitty movie that nobody likes. I want to thank everybody that even though my movie was shitty, you came out to see it anyway. Thank you. Like, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. Let, if, if the movie is good, then nominate it for Best Picture. You got 10 fucking categories. I mean, I could understand, like, you know, 20 years ago when you were only nominating five. You got 10, man. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. Anyways, that's how I feel about it. My name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at facebook.com slash many things Dave McRae. That's where I tend to post in the meantime and in between time when I'm not posting here. That link is in the description. So uh, yeah, comment below and let me know your thoughts. Don't, Academy, don't do it. Don't start giving out awards for what's popular. Okay, if you want to help bring in viewers, then rewrite your fucking show. Your movie sucks. You have far too many subplots and far too many characters. Okay, gets, design the award show like it's a fucking movie. Okay, because right now it's ironic. Your movie's a fucking snore fest. Nobody gives a shit about it. And you keep dishing out the same movie every year. Do not give an award for what's popular. I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.